vlog number seven. Yesterday I talked about creating content and some tips for that. You can check the link to yesterday's vlog below. Today I want to talk about the opposite, which is consuming content. There's tons of information out there that says you should be reading every day. I'm a true believer of that. I love to read no matter what platform it is, whether it's having a magazine or an actual physical book or using my Kindle or reading on the computer. I'm not as big on the type of platform that you're actually reading on, but it's because of the purpose that I see for reading. Being able to read for fun is something that is very difficult for a lot of people because when we think about the, the opposite of work and we think about the opposite of school and we think about the, the fun things in life, rarely does it come with information. And I think it's because we have information overload in those aspects of our life, work and school. I do see that people, the farther they get out from school, the less that they have to read and the less that they're being a sponge because they're not in an environment where it's information in. And it's really important, and that's the purpose of reading that I feel is most under-mentioned. The reason that you read is so that you can practice consuming information. Understanding, comprehending, gathering it, formulating it, and then being able to use it down the road is how we gain knowledge. And the practice of that, being able to consume information, is what's most important. I think it's really underrated. I think more people have to do it. And I really think as a daily habit, it is extremely valuable for you to be able to gain. Majority of our lives now revolve around with work, having to be creative and having to do something. The activity that we are doing is promoting outgoing information. We're being the ones that are utilizing the information that we've gained over the years and the knowledge that we've gained now to produce something that's of value. And I think if you can start with a daily habit that gets you back into the rhythm of reading and the rhythm of consuming information and the, con the, the growth of your knowledge base, even if it's something as simple as getting your daily email of information. I really like the skim. Uh, I've got a link below for you to check it out. It basically gives you the amount of information that you need as a daily recap of news that you can read instead of having it done by TV or by radio. There's less of a filter, there's less clutter, and it's straight to the point. This for me has been a really great start to get back into reading the news because I avoided it for so long because I didn't have any headspace left for it. Secondly, stick to topics that you like. I find there's a lot of great editorial out there, there's a lot of great authors in every single space, whether it's a blog so you can learn formatting and practice different writing tips for your blog and for your content, or if it's different publications, stick to stuff that has a knowledge base on a topic that you like, whether it's sports, whether it's business, marketing, whatever it is, you can find something that is out there that gives you an extra tip every day but enjoy it. Enjoy the read. Medium is a great place to go and check out authors or reading the perspective of people that you like following or people from companies that you enjoy. It doesn't have to be from a business perspective or a work perspective. It can be from a company you just like. I know there's a ton of information out there um, from Tesla. Tesla is one of the most amazing companies in terms of innovation and their fan base is what's most impressive. I think one of the really cool things about Tesla bringing out a car that is um, a lower price point with the Model 3 is something that finally allows them to tap into a huge user base. They've had total success with the cars they've launched so far, but it's been amazing how many fans they've collected along the way, and that's because people absolutely fall in love with the brand. The brands that you love are a great place to start to see what their founders are saying, what their employees are saying, what's being written about them in the news. You can fall in love all over again with the brands that you love by finding something that's a little bit deeper, but it all comes back to reading. While I love documentaries and I love podcasts, I think reading is the most essential habit for you to have a knowledge base that grows. At the end of the day, think about how much you've created and how much activity that you've produced for work or for school that headspace that you know how to free up, you can grow your knowledge base by filling that empty space that you've just built up with more knowledge. That means every day you're building a habit of growth, you're building a habit of personal development, and you're building a knowledge base that can benefit you in the future. So read daily, work on it, and I'll remind you down the road, it's a daily vlog. We'll be talking every day. Have a good one. See you on vlog eight.